Hi, my name is Katrina from Woodrow Handcrafts in Gympie. And in today's tutorial, we're going to be working with the Stitch Composer that comes with the Horizon Link Suite tools. The Horizon Link Suite tool that we're going to be using today is the one that comes with the 15,000. So we're going to select our Stitch Composer and we're going to open that up. So when you open it up, you come to this page. So this is all the area that you've got to create your stitches. So first thing what we're going to do is we're going to zoom out so we can see in our screen our complete area that we've got to work with. So when creating our stitches for our machine, the first thing we need is a start point. So we're going to go up here, select our start point, and we want our start point to start down the bottom here where it says 4mm. So that's going to be our first point. So we're going to click on that and then we're going to go out so we're going to go out 2 and put our second point we're going to go up 1 Put our next point. So now we want to go back out to above the one and put our next point in. So now we want to go up two on the diagonal. And we're going to put that on that one millimeter line there. So now we want to go out one and a half, like so. Back up two on the angle, out one, now we're going to go up There. So we've gone one, two, three up and we've come out here. Come down here and get in one like so. And we're going to fold it down. So now we want to go one and a half again. So two down, one and a half across. We put our point. We're going to come back into that line there. So the next point will be two. That line there. And then two in. And then one down for the trunk. And then we're going to come out here to the 8mm mark and put the 17 point. So now what we do to finish that stitch off, we go up to finish. And that puts all our stitches in here, a tie of stitches and everything. So if we want to see how this is going to stitch out with our sewing machine, what we can do is we can go into view and play. So now you'll see over on the right hand side here, the stitches that we created for our sewing machine. So once we're happy with that, we go home right to design, make sure you've got your USB in, open our USB and it's got to go in this ORDF folder. We're going to rename it to Christmas tree and then send it across.